Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Rahul and welcome to this uh, quick tutorial on how to make a cool little whoosh transition within After Effects. So what you want to do is just open up your After Effects and um, make your new composition and import your two clips which you want the transition to take place on and then go online and download a whoosh sound effect. You can get this off YouTube or freesoundeffects.com, anywhere. Uh, just make sure you get a nice little one and uh, you can go ahead and use it. So what you want to do is then bring in your two clips. I've already got them on my timeline. You want the one which is um, going to be the first clip shown to be on the top layer then the one which is after to be on the bottom layer and then you just want to overlay them where you want your transition to be at the moment if you just um view it you'll just see it'll be a quick jump cut and there won't be a proper transition but we're going to fix that and firstly what you want to do to fix it is bring in your actual sound effects so you want to put the sound effect on the bottom layer or it can be in the middle top doesn't matter just where you can see it easily and then you just want to zoom in and um, make sure that the that the transition is taking place over your actual sound file so um, what, to do this what you want to do is open up the uh, waveform by um, clicking the arrow next to your whoosh sound effect and then click audio then click waveform and then and you'll see it now um, if you've got like a, one of those sound effects or, or the files which has got loads of sound effects within it um, you ha will have to probably shrink this down by just um, dragging across the two end parts and making it short until it is just on your whoosh part but here we've got the whoosh part so what you want to do is make sure that the start of the whoosh is um, going to be where your second clip is just coming in and then the end is where your whoosh is finishing so as you can see the end of the first clip is pretty much the end of the whoosh and then the start of the uh, start of the second clip sorry is the um, start of the whoosh so we've got that all done and uh, we don't really have to mess around with the whoosh anymore and now what you want to do is um, highlight your um, your layer for your, your behind or the clip behind or the second clip whatever you want to call it and also uncheck the viewing of your um, top layer so you can see the behind layer and you want to go to the start of the the start of the layer um, the, the second layer and um, so you can just see it like here and then open up your um, transformation tools by clicking the arrow then clicking transform and uh, then we want to scroll along until the end of the first clip so we can just see it's there or even a frame before it doesn't matter but um, around there and you just want to click this little stopwatch to create a keyframe and now if we move ahead to the start uh, we want to move this and uh, use the um, the one which will say 960 or something and you want to move this so it's moving in the horizontal way and you want to move it just so it's like just on the screen but um, not too much so around that much and now if we look at it we'll see that it does kind of slide in and it'll go with the whoosh which is pretty cool and also what you want to do is highlight your two keyframes by dragging your mouse over them and press F9 on your keyboard this will make the transition a little bit more smooth and um, it just makes it look a little bit more nicer now if you just look at this it looks pretty decent I mean if we didn't have anything here that and we rendered this it'll mean that any if we put it over something the um, video will get overlaid onto it which will look pretty cool but if we do um, check to see the top layer it doesn't look that good I mean we can see the x-ray of it going across but then it just jump cuts like it did before so now to fix this what you want to do is um, highlight your top layer so we've got our GTA clip here and you just want to click this squiggly line and you want to drag it across and then click it so it, it does get parented to um, the uh, bottom layer or you can click this little drop down box and find the layer which um, you were moving so now we, uh, this is going to look pretty cool because um, um, if we move this across we do see that they do move together and um, it gets fit like that so that does look pretty cool now I'm um it looks cool but there is something more we can do the final part of doing all of this what you want to do is turn on motion blur to both your layers and then click this little button up here to enable the motion blur and um, now we get this nice little blur when they go across which just gives it that extra cool effect and then if we ram preview it we'll see what it looks like and um, here we go whoosh and it looks pretty cool really nice effect you can do it over your intro whatever you want and um, it's just a simple effect to do really easy and with the motion blur it, it just provides something extra to your video which um, looks really cool but anyway that's the end of the video end of the tu tutorial hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you do have any other tutorial suggestions or ideas which you want to see from me in the future please leave them in the comment section below but as always I've been Rahul hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one.